people with people who doesn't like. I would invite them to meet with me. Um, I feel a lot of the time that people draw judgment just by what they see in a photo or what they see in a video. Um, and I know that they don't know who I am as a person. And so I don't really take it seriously, the negativity that I see online or if I do see it. Um, but I feel that if I were to be able to meet them and if they would see me for who I am, Sana, it would change their mind. And if it doesn't, then wala lang. it comes with the territory. There are some people that you can never please. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> do you think that Fiona, with your participation to Miss Universe, you'll be somehow, borrowing your word, elevating the standard of pageant? Because you know how people are looking down so much on this pageant as a whole. Because it modifies it in general. So, how do you feel when you're having competed twice in a pageant before? Do you feel feeling, feeling, being objectified or commodified on stage? How will you prove your these pageant critics or feminists wrong? You know, pageants, Actually, pageants I would are argue to those who um, say that feminism is in line with pageantry because I believe that feminism equates to always supporting a woman no matter what she chooses to do. If she chooses to walk in her swimsuit, then putting her down is not feminism. But feminism should always lift women up and respecting them for whatever they want to pursue. If they want to be a law student or a housewife, it demands equal respect, and that for me is feminism. So being a beauty pageant contestant and being able to represent my country internationally already and going on again to the um, I would argue that, you know, pageants is not just a facade. I mean, it is a show. But behind that show are amazing stories from amazing women. And I'm so excited to be a part of the generation of beauty queens that redefines what a beauty queen is. And I hope that throughout my journey that you guys can follow along. And I will show you that being a beauty queen is no walk in the park. In fact, I think that we're like beauty athletes. <laughs> and I hope that through each of our journeys that we can show a show a new light to show that what us beauty queens are really made of. And we're not just glitzy Barbies.